Okay, so for today's video is we will be having another unboxing and quick review. And actually, dumating siya last night. And excited na ako unbox siya. By the way, thank you so much for your time for watching this video. I'm so happy that you gave your little time para para na video na to. So thank you so much. Sa giveaway ko nga pala, Techies, malapit na malapit na konting kembot na lang at i-announce ko na yung winner. Kaya abang-abang lang kayo dyan dahil magsusurprise mo ako ng upload. And thank you din sa mga bagong nanonood sa channel ko. I sana mag-subscribe ka na and hit the bell button to be the first to see my latest uploads. Ayun, abangan nyo guys. I-present ko dito yung performance niya sa game yung specification niya, yung performance niya sa cameras, and ipapakita ko din yung heating test din, gagawa ko, and training test. So, I hope you guys will watch till the end. Let's unbox this Infinix S4 now. Alright, so this is the box of Infinix S4, and as you can see, guys, simple lang yung box niya. Wala masyadong detalye dito, ang smartphone lang, and then yung S4 itself. And then dito sa likod niya, guys, is makikita mong may mga nakasulat. And it says here na this smartphone, S4, has 64GB internal storage and 6GB RAM, and its battery, it has a 4,000 milliamp hours battery capacity, and it has a 32 megapixel front cam. And now on its rear camera, guys, meron siyang triple cameras, and it is really surprising for an entry-level smartphone na may triple cameras. So it says here na meron siyang 13 megapixel, plus 8 megapixel, and 2 megapixel, guys. AF with quad flashlight. So, this is really surprising for me kasi we are really excited to know kung ano pa yung mga kayang i-offer ni Infinix S4 since first time din naman natin mag-unbox ng gantong klaseng brand ng smartphone. So, pareho talaga tayo lahat guys na excited. Alamin ang smartphone na to. So, let's open this box na. Ayan na guys. So, when opening the box, makikita natin agad yung unit. So, as usual, iset aside muna natin to and let's see its other accessories. So, as nakikita nyo, kaiba din yung mini box nila. <laughs> Ayan. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung laman ng mini box nila. Guys, makikita nyo na sa likod niya is nandito yung pinajector. By the way, I'm sorry sa bosses ko, may sipon kasi ako. <laughs> Ayan. So, nakikita nyo, man, nandito yung papers. Ayan. About quick guide, I think warranty then, and then here is, ayan, so my free tempered glass pa sila. And nandito, my free jelly case din sila guys, which is also good. So ayan, wala na. Tingnan naman natin yung other accessories niya. Okay, so andito yung charger niya guys, yung wall adapter niya. Ayan, so makikita nyo, very simple lang yung wall adapter ng smartphone na to, ng Infinix. And then, ito naman yung USB cable niya. And this is its free earbuds. Ayun, so so far, wala nang laman yung box. So, excited na tayong alamin ang unit at tingnan kung gano'n ba siya kaganda yung screen display niya, guys. Ito na yung Infinix S4 and it says here, 32 MP triple rear camera, 6.2 water drop design, and meron na siyang dual 2.5D glass body. Napakasulit ng smartphone na to. Like, ngayon lang ako nakakita ng ganitong klaseng smartphone na halos nandito na yung ginahanap. So, buksan na natin siya. Huwag natin patagalin. Okay. Yan, furnace. Ang ganda ng ano nila. Ayan. Ito yung front face ng smartphone na to. So, ito yung likod. Wow! Nandito na yung triple camera niya. And I like it. Yung frame ng camera, guys. It's gold. And so, tingnan natin. Tagalin na natin to para makita natin yung real beauty ng unit. And ayan na, guys. Makikita nyo. Sobrang ganda. And look at its back cover, guys. Meron siyang glitters. 
Yes, may glitter design siya. And may fingerprint scanner na siya. May LED flash na siya. And triple cameras. And then, yung kulay niya guys is dual. Merong parang black sa ilalim and purple. And ang kulay na meron ako guys is twilight purple. Super thin niya lang guys. Naka-appreciate ko talaga siya. Okay, so let's turn on this smartphone so makikita natin yung screen display, yung resolution niya. Ayan na guys, so makikita nyo, ito na yung screen display resolution niya. Ayan, sobrang ganda ng screen display niya guys. Parang hindi ito kaong ano, <laughs> parang siyang picture, ganun. Napakaganda sa mata, eye soothing and vivid yung screen display. And makikita mong may ano nga siya, may notch design nga talaga siya. Ito yung status bar niya guys, nakikita niya naman dyan. Anyway, titingnan muna natin yung ang available storage niya guys is 54GB. Sa right part niya guys is where the power button and the volume button is located. And then sa left side is where the SIM card tray. And then, sa upper niya, guys, is wala. Ayan. Then, sa bottom niya, okay, nandito yung earphone jack, nandito yung microphone, micro USB port, and speaker niya. I like its 2.5D glass curve back cover, and it is really nice kasi meron siyang dual colors. Imagine kaya na niya yung HD plus screen display. So, sobrang mutang na and vivid yung screen display, guys. Napaka-eye soothing niya. Napakaganda niya tingnan. And even yung mga icons niya, guys, is maganda din. Ayun, so as you can see, this smartphone has 6.2 inches screen display. And its resolution, guys, is meron siyang 720 by 1520 pixels. And then, when it comes to its thickness naman, guys, it has 7.9 millimeter thickness. And now, when we are going to talk about its OS and other feature, this smartphone, guys, already runs on Android version and it is already powered by octa-core processor but its chipset guys is hindi snapdragon kundi helio p22 nakagandahan lang din sa kanya guys is yung ram and rom niya 64 and 6 gigabyte and note yung battery niya guys malaki din yung battery capacity ni infinix s4 meron siyang 4000 milliamp hours battery capacity which is very sulit na din hindi rin nagpapatalo yung battery niya talaga guys sobrang tibay siguro yung issue lang nito is yung durability niya. Since hindi pa natin kilala yung company, yung brand niya, so hindi natin alam kung matibay ba talaga siya kasi bago pa lang. Hindi natin alam, malay mo, isa pala sa matibay, di ba? Ayun, so nakagandahan din sa kanya, guys, fingerprint scanner na siya, may face unlock na siya, may proximity sensor, may e-compass na siya, at may gyroscope na rin siya, guys. So, at isa pa sa nakaka-amaze sa kanya, guys, is yung camera niya. Ay, yung first niya is 13 megapixel, then yung sa middle is 8 megapixel, and then sa third is yung 2 megapixel. And then sa front naman niya, guys, is meron siya 32 megapixel megapixel front camera. Okay, so makikita nyo sa sample shots ko kung paano or ano yung performance niya. I'm the surprise talaga ako guys na tinest ko yung camera niya. Sobrang ganda ng resulta. Vibrant yung image, klaro, hindi pixelated. Hindi naman din siya saturated at hindi rin sobrang sharp. Sakto lang yung timpla. Sobrang ganda. Nagustuhan ko. Pati yung focus niya guys, napakaganda din. Mas ma-appreciate mo yung image. So, sa front cam niya guys, makikita nyo dyan na sobrang linaw din. Ayan, so actually uh, automatic na siya guys na masiset na siya sa AI cam, pero pwede mo namang i-adjust yung level. Hindi siya filtered, and maganda yung kuha ng camera. Sobrang linaw. Ang bilis din, actually, ng capture niya, guys. Now, we'll talk about its camera features, guys. Meron siyang AI camera, beautification, portrait. Okay, meron siya nun. So, may pa-blur effect na rin sa front. Ayan. And then, may AR shots din siya. Ayan. So, marami ka talaga ma-enjoy sa kanya, guys. And then, yung video recording niya is kanya yun. 1080p at 30 frames per second. Ayan. So, makikita nyo yung mga sample shots ko sa AI cam, beauty cam, sa portrait. And makikita nyo yung uh, sample shots ko na gamit ko yung AR shots. Kasi may AR lens sa siya. So, ayan. Makikita nyo rin dyan. So, anyway, test ko to. Yung battery niya. Makikita nyo dyan. Even yung um, gaming experience. Yun, may 34 degrees Celsius shots. So, observe natin after 30 minutes kung mag-improve ba yung heating niya. Nakita nyo, kaya niya yung high graphic setting. And, ayun. Your team destroyed the turret. 
Maganda din yung audio quality niya, guys. So, after 30 minutes of draining, naging 25% na din siya. Tinalman natin yung heating niya, guys, kung ilan na. Okay, so as you can see, 37 degrees Celsius na siya. So, not bad. Hindi siya masyadong humili talaga ng bongga. And so, test na natin yung face and mouth niya, guys. Again, nanakipan nyo. Ayan, nanak na. Again, one more time. Ayan, nanak ulit. So, so far, guys, nabilis yung uh, face and mouth niya na sensor. Na itay naman natin yung fingerprint scanner niya, guys. Ayan, <laughs> sobrang bilis ng fingerprint niya, Tegis. Sobrang bilis na fingerprint scanner niya. So, yung mga sensor niya, guys, wala akong masabi. Mabilis and responsive talaga. <laughs> Parang ito yata yung killer ng lahat ng entry-level smartphone na na-review ko eh. <laughs> na nagkakalagang 6,990. Parang ito na yata killer talaga. Thin lang siya guys. Sobrang handy lang. So ayun na guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa unboxing and review ko ng ang Infinix S4 and sana satisfied kayo. Sobrang satisfying talaga yung price niya dun sa specification na in-offer ni Infinix S4 sa atin. And, and by the way, na-order ko lang pala to sa Shopee. Ayan, so sa mga magtatanong dyan, visit na kayo sa Shopee website nila. Na-order ko to doon. 6,990 lang to. Ayan. So I think that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys you will leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Channel. And please don't forget to hit the bell button to be the first to see my latest uploads. Thank you and see you till my next review. Bye!